Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good wherever you are. Welcome to our series on Jet Elements from CrocoBlock for Elementor, which can be used in the Elementor free version to give you the pro sensation. In this video, we'll be looking at animated text. If you are interested in getting Jet Elements from CrocoBlock for Elementor, please follow the link in the description below. Let's dive into our website. This is a very nice page created in a starter site from Bloxy. And we are here on the About Us page. And instead of just having this heading here, our team, we can really jazz it up a little bit with the animated text. From the sidebar, my jet elements have been already installed. And then I will look for animated text, click and drag, and I'll drop it here. From the beginning, you can clearly see what this does. It has a before area of text and an after area of text. And then it has an area of text in the middle, which is animated. If we go to the inspector on the sidebar, let's first go to settings so you can have an idea of how the animation effect works. That is set on Joe currently. And if I go to connect, it's going to give a little bit of a different animation. And you can cycle through these. I think there's about 10 of them. And each one has a little bit of flair that makes them very unique in their sense. Let's go for the last one, typing. That gives a typewriter effect. Below this, you can set the time. 3000 is 3000 milliseconds, which translates into three seconds. So if you want it shorter, let's say 1.5 seconds, it's 1500. And now it will change every one and a half second. You can align the content to the beginning and to the end and then, of course, starts in the middle. This is useful if you're going to put it inside of a column and you want to align it to the left so that the text in the front doesn't move like it does every time in the middle. As you can see, as the words are longer and shorter, the text also moves with it. That's all dependent on the animation effect that you choose. Let's jump and let's go for Croco, Croco this time. Now that we know how we can animate it, let's go to content and you will see here's the before text I talked about. Here is the after text. And here is the area you can add the animated text. So what we've done there with the hour, Tina will start with before text and type in hour. And then after, I'm going to say team. Then we can change the text here of the animation. I will go for number one. Number one. And then let's say for the next one, spectacular. And to bring in a new one, you can click on Add Item, or you can simply select here on Copy, and then type in the new one. And this time, I'll use two words so that you can see it isn't dependent on just one word at a time. Notice here that you also have text direction. Currently, it is set from left to right, and this is very useful for languages that are right to left. If I put it on right to left, you will see it comes the other way in. But that will only now be for most awesome because we haven't applied it. There you see it. And that's why I recommend style out your first item and then duplicate it so you don't need to go and change those settings for each and every one respectively. That's it. And you have the ability to link it. You're styling normal stylings and you get styling control over each of these elements by itself. I'll go to the color. I'll put it on black. And then for my topography, this is IBM Plex Mono. And I think I will also, while we are here, give it a weight of 900, transform and put it on uppercase. It looks a little bit better. Let's do the same for the after text. These two are similar. And then we have our topography again, IBM Mono Plex or Plex Mono, weight 900, and transform to uppercase, right? And then for the one in the middle, we will also put it same font, which is IBM Plex Mono. And we can also put it on uppercase. And for this one, let's make the color a little bit more spectacular to fit the text that we have there in the middle. You can also apply padding on different levels to each of these elements. And that is it. 
The one thing that is important to me whenever you are testing a new add-on or widget or element from anyone is to make sure that you have the proper responsive controls. Here, like usual, because this is taken from Elementor, that you do have control over certain settings like your size, line height, letter spacing, word spacing, as well as you can go and play around with the padding. And that gives it an A-plus rating, ready to be used in Elementor. This upgrades Elementor free to Elementor Pro if you subscribe to CrocoBlock or get a lifetime license. And if you want to know more about that, remember to follow the link in the description below. From me, JP, go well and see you next time.